Hey, it's video tutorial number nine, making a MIDI module. And that little uh, musical introduction was to remind you where we were last time when we were working on our project, which I have as 05 key B patch. This is the keyboard opened up in a B patcher. And um, uh, since we love playing chopsticks so much, we can see that if we have our keyboard input um, doing that, we get the MIDI note out over here. And the velocity over here, you can see when I push the key down, 115, let it up, it's zero. And over here we have the volume, quiet, loud. All right, so it's working nicely. I thought I'd... Um, before we move on to other ways of making sound, um, give you a little more, uh, I was going to say a little more input on the MIDI. Maybe that's true and maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little more output. Maybe it's a little more modulation. Um, so what we're going to do is unlock our patcher down here. And no doubt is a great thing because it formats those two numbers and sends them out so that MIDI can understand them. In for more control, we want to use something else. So let's type N and type MIDI format. There it comes right up there. And when we click on it here, we see what we've got. There's the MIDI message output. And then it tells you what these things are here, note on and note off. Um, we could use that uh, poly key blah 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 okay so um, I'm gonna make this a little bit wider just because the thing that I'm interested in is this is it this one after touch no it's not that one program change let's um let's stick a little slider type N and then just type slider in there um, a lot of the objects come up immediately with a 1 to 127 internal number, and slider is one of them. Um, let's type the letter the num the letter I, so that we get a number box, so we know where we are here, and connect them together. Now, what happens is if we send this number into MIDI format, it's going to spit out a number that a MIDI synthesizer understands. Um, it's more complicated than you might think, um, or maybe perhaps more simple than you might think. No doubt does that if you send it to numbers. MIDI format does this for lots of other things that have a slightly more um, complex relationship with the MIDI synthesizer. So what we need down here is another new object now and something that says MIDI out. There it is, MIDI out. Thank you, MIDI out. And we're going to connect those. Now, we want to make sure, lock your patcher for a second, double click on note out, and you see it, you've got the AU DLS synth one if you're on a Macintosh. I have no idea what you'd have if you were on a PC. I'm going to ask somebody someday. And then double click on this one, and you want the same thing. Okay, because we want to control what this one's playing. So now, let's move this to a 1 and play our keyboard. Nice. Sounds just like a piano. Let's try, oh, we'll just randomly pick 31. Yeah! So this is a really fast way 
to get a little bit of control over what we're doing here um, with the MIDI synthesizer. This is sending it a program change. And program change in MIDI means a voice change. Now there's one other thing I think that would be nice to change after touch now pitch bend. So let's let's just duplicate these two since we have them here. Option, click on both of them once you've selected them. Drag them over and do that. Now um, with pitch bend the what you really want is to have it at the middle number which between 0 and 127 divided by 2 is 63 and a half so let's just say 62 because we have to include 0 in that possibility there okay so actually I think somebody told me it's actually 63 63 is the middle number and then we play our note you know I'm gonna go back to piano just cuz it whoops not zero cuz I don't oh, there it is yeah zeros piano 63 nice for our distorted guitar, gosh, what was that, 31? I don't remember. Or whatever that sound is. Okay. Um, so now we have a couple things here to modify our MIDI with, I'm going to just select them and move them over for a second. It's usually nice to be able to control things um, in another way. So, um, for example, with this number, it would be nice to know what exactly we were setting things on. So if you did decide that you wanted to know that you just type an N and you type U menu. There's U menu and um, put the U menu over here and connect it to the top and then we um, select it and go over oh, there's the inspect inspector. We're going to scroll down here and say and find where the um, items are, menu items. I'm going to have to zoom in here so you can see them. I could barely find them. Okay. Menu items. Edit the menu items. <laughs> Useful. There we go. Okay. So in the menu items, you have to type, let's just say, I, I know the beginning ones, you'd have to go in here and kind of do them as you go it's piano and then I think it's piano 2 and then another piano right and we'll just say okay okay and then those go into into the U menu and then we see over here that our with a little bit of zoom power, we lock it. Hey, we lock our patcher, and now we have these options piano, piano two, and another piano. They do sound different. Now, the problem, of course, the problem, of course, is that until we figure out what every single thing is we won't know what they are so let's uh, I mean let's just for example go to number four. Oh, that sounds like an electric organ so we could we could then unlock it go to the piano uh, go to this thing and type over here whoop hey 
Oh, I, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry. It's down here. Edit. Piano. Piano 2. Another piano. Comma. And groovy organ. And we'll click OK. And then uh, we can look at our U menu over here and we see that we have Groovy Organ. Now when you click on Groovy Organ it outputs a 3. When you click on another piano it's going to output a 2. Piano 2 is going to output a 1 and piano is going to output a 0. Okay, So that's how you make a menu like this and unfortunately unless you know a place where there's a list of general MIDI instruments um, this is how you're stuck doing it. There is a way to do it, by the way. And I would research it on the web before I typed 127 different instruments in here. But um, that's uh, one way to do it. Now for the bend, what would be a good way to do that? I was thinking that perhaps um, you know where the mouse is would be a nice way to do it, but you probably wouldn't just want to have it work off the mouse. So let's um, unlock here and type in N and just start typing mouse. Mouse filter. What we want is mouse state. There it is. And then, um, oops, we can see <laughs> if we zoom out a little bit. This is whether the button is up or down. One if the button is down, zero if it is up. And the uh, horizontal location and the vertical location. Um, let's just uh, type this here. And lock our... our uh, patch her down and then we will uh, whoops sorry right one of the things we have to remember about this thing is that it has to be told to go out and check the mouse state so unlocking our patcher again whoops unlocking our patcher again we're going to make a metronome that uh, checks every, let's say, 30 milliseconds where the mouse is. We don't want it to um, be too much of a burden. And we're going to put a toggle on it. Just type a T, mm -hmm. and you get a toggle. And you also get an A <laughs> sounding from your piano if your keyboard is still on. OK, so we lock our patcher down then. There. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. So, but here's the thing. As we scroll down to the bottom here, we get to 701. And as we get up to the top here, we get closer and closer to zero, but we never... Oh, there's zero at the very top. And at the very bottom of the screen is 800. Okay, zero to 800 means we have to employ the scaling object for this and so we're going to type a new object type in scale and it we know it goes from 0 to 800 but we kind of uh, want it to go backwards right so we actually well let's say 0 it goes from 0 to 800 and then what's the output that we want relative to that? At the very top of that, where 0 is, we want it to be 127. And at the very bottom, where 800 is going to be, we want it to be 0. There we go. Nice. So connecting this over to here. 
and we'll put a little uh, another box here because we want to look at this first. There we go. And now we see that it's scaling very nicely. There's now. Would it work? Uh, lock your patcher and nice the only thing is that we don't have much control over it when it's not clicked so how would you do this if you wanted it to only work when the mouse was clicked, you could turn the metronome off, of course, um, or you could employ a gate. And that would be, let's just move all this up a little bit and uh, put a gate in here. That would be an N, gate, two, there we go. Now, what a gate does is, oh, I hate that. Let's try that again, a better zoom. What a gate does is this side controls the gate. Zero closes it, non-zero opens it. This is where the, the data comes out. And so this is our data. Let's hook it up. And then we know that the mouse state is going to provide a zero if it's up and a one if it's down and that is perfect for controlling a gate so now As you can see, nothing's happening. Look, my mouse is going up and down, and now we'll click, and the numbers change. But you know, there is one thing I don't like here. Another modification is in order, and that's this. Unlock your patcher and type in the word S. <laughs> I love that. Unlock your patcher and type N select zero and we're going to move the select object over here put this down to the select object and what we want to happen is when you get a select object here it says if input matches zero it's going to send out a bang and if it does we want it to send this message Type M. We want the message to be 63. Why? Well, because then it's not bending anything. And we don't really want it. We don't really want to have it bending the note if it's not, uh, if the mouse isn't pressed down. So we're going to run this down here. There we go. And lest I forget, this still has to run down to the gate just as it did before. All right. So let's lock it so that we can play our piano without doing anything bad. Now we see that our numbers are flying around with the mouse, but the 63 is staying still. And now if we click, we get the, we get the bend. So here we go. We'll just play the four notes kind of. Clicking. Letting up. Which is nice, because then I can go and, well, <laughs> I 
Yeah, now if I click way up here at the top, I can set sort of a permanent pitch bend. The flute's not a very exciting thing to bend. Let's find something else. Oh, that's nice. So let's say you wanted to then we put our arrow up here and just be ready. You notice it's at 63 down here. When we go up to the top, we know we're going to get a 95 or so. Oh, if I unzoom, I can even get more. Here we go. Okay, now we can get some stuff. So here's the piano. Click, off, click, off, click, off. Nice. All right. And then if I was going to um, say anything about all of this, it is we should probably clean up before we're done. And so what do we need out of all of this stuff? Let's unlock it again. We'll move the piano up here. And we'll just take all of this stuff and encapsulate it. And with that, we'll call it Patcher Space MIDI Module, because that's what we're working on today. And then if you really want to, you can route all your patch cords and uh, keep it neat. Okay, so that's kind of a short video, but now we've got a MIDI module and we can um, we can turn our, let's lock the patcher here, we can turn our mouse problem off, I think, as you can see, and we can turn our bend back on. We can change to Groovy Organ. That doesn't sound like Groovy Organ. What's going on, Groovy Organ? I couldn't even guess. Um, somewhere along the line, did we disconnect our groovy organ? Um, so it's three? Oh, four was groovy organ, wasn't it? My mistake. Look at this. So groovy organ um, is in here as the fourth thing, but of course, in order to get a four, you have to have five things. So we're going to have to say even another piano in here. What a pain in the neck, but it's got to be done. So go on over here, edit your list, type something before Groovy Organ yet. Actually, it sounded like an electric piano. I'm going to go with electric piano. Comma, groovy organ. Okay. And now, locking our patcher. Whoops. Locking our patcher. And zooming in a little bit. Let's see how everything's working. Piano. Groovy organ. Electric piano. Yep another piano piano too nice volume still working and of course we've got our mouse bending click all right um, before it runs on too long that's going to be MIDI module for today, and then um, I'll be back with another sound module. Take care, and patch beautifully. And uh, 
I always like to go out with the title. There you go, the end. And we'll be back with video tutorial number 10. Ciao, ciao.